you are my next patient they had to see. My name is Fred and I'm going to be checking your eyes and making sure that everything is perfectly fine and that your eyesight is as good as it can possibly be for you at this present time and just to give you a basic uh, check, well, not the right check, but your basic eye exam for the year and uh, hopefully you keep just getting them looked at every year just to make sure everything is perfectly healthy and that's just the best way to uh, keep an eye, pardon the pun, on everything and make sure everything is routinely uh, checked for you. Okay, so uh, forgive me, we have to just go through a couple of things before we begin. So let's just name and check in and see if you've been with this before. So, so your name again. That's at your place of living. Yep. A very desirable area around there, very nice. <laughs> okay. So, yes, I do believe that this is your first visit here with us. You may have visited uh, the previous practice that used to be here and got your eye tested uh, quite some time ago. No, no, but that's fine, you just keep checking in whenever you want, and it's your choice to, um, to come in and get them checked. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we're just having a bit of a upgrade from the stationary method. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to pop you in on the system as well. So if you don't mind, just give me an email and I, I can jot it down there. Okay. Okay, and dot com. Okay. Right, and today is just going to be an eye an examination. you a thorough look throughout. Okay. You must well, forgive me, let's just say that uh, this technology is not quite my forte. I just specialize in eyes. Okay. Okay, I'll be with you in one second and then we can proceed with your exam. Before we begin, everything's been okay with you. Uh, did you get offered a drink before you came in? A glass of water? Great. That's good. Right, so you're all set to go. And I think I am too. And there we go. Perfect. You're on the system. So everything that I pick up, I can just write all your information on here. And should you wish, I can Get that sent to you so you can keep a look on uh, what's happened today and how we've got on with everything. How does that sound? Okay, great. So we're just going to go through a couple of basic tests and I'll just ask you a couple of questions before uh, we get through those, but everything is perfectly normal, nothing to worry about, of course. I'm sure you're very familiar with our exams. And I'll just sort of guide you on your way and together we will just check things here and there and make sure everything is great for you as I'm sure it will be okay so would you like to tell me if you've been experiencing any sort of issues with your eyes that uh, I should be aware of okay nothing at all and how about uh, use of technology Perhaps you might be looking at your phone a few times throughout the day or long periods of time or maybe a computer as well. Okay, so quite a lot of time on 
screen and iPads as well. I'm afraid that's a little bit contradicting of me uh, saying that to you to not go on your iPad as much, but but smart tablets, anything like that. Uh, but we got solutions for these, which I will get into for you. Okay, so that's that. So evening times, day time. Uh, how would you say your vision has been? at all, regular headaches or anything like that. No. That's great. So this is just all very basic questions. Um, but usually if you have a headache, which sometimes can be um, caused by a strain of the eyes and um, you might need glasses, and that will get rid of your headaches. You will feel pressure in your eyes. was the last time that you perhaps saw something a little bit blurry um, from a distance. Okay. Would you say that was a frequent thing? Right. And how about short distance as well? A little bit blurry now and again. No. Oh, perfect. Well, let's just say that someone your age I wouldn't expect you to be encountering like this, of course, our eyesight won't be as good uh, as we get older. That just happens with the majority of us, um, but it's something uh, which we can take care of and look after, and that's what I'm here to do for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take my torches and you have to pardon me, I've just got sandwich for lunch, so I will be going in close proximity just in case you know what I have been eating, and hopefully that doesn't discomfort you, and I'm going to be taking my special light here, and I'm going to be coming close to you and just examining your eyes. Okay, so whilst I do that, if I could just ask you to stare perhaps at this line down here for me, and just keep your eyes focused in that direction. No need to move it left or right until I instruct you to do so. Do you think you could do that for me? Great, I know you can. So all you have to do is just remain nice and still, and I'm going to come in a little bit close and take a look at your eyes in close proximity. Okay. So that's it, just examination and be over and quickly the flash okay right so what I'd like you to do now I'm just going to do the same thing but I'm just going to instruct you to look left or right up or down for me okay and that I can determine on the parts of your eye should there be anything that I would need to further examine so Start off with your right eye this time. You're doing a great job, perfect. It's quite a relaxing affair, really. So, if you can just look left for me, okay, and now look right, perfect. Right on. And the same again with your left eye. If you can look right for me. So, 
everything I can see right now, red snow, IP walls, and the response to light. Uh, everything seems perfectly fine there, and there's nothing to be uh, concerned about or to pick up on. So, is everything okay so far? Brilliant. You feel a little bit sleepy. Yes, I think eye examinations have that sort of effect on people. And it's probably quite one of the uh, relaxing processes in the medical professions. Uh, people come in and some people might just seem a little bit nervous uh, because we have instruments and things uh, which look a little bit, should we say, imposing. Uh, but once you're in that chair, uh, its lights go down ever so slightly and it's quite a relaxing sensation. Apart from the torch, maybe right in your eye, but it's still all part of the process. Okay. So I'm just going to check uh, your response to light. So I'll be moving the light from different areas, and if you could just follow the top of the light for me, wherever it goes, just keep following it around. And I'll just come in close to keep. is one of those things which kind of comes off under a cranial nerve examination. Have you ever had uh, one of those before? You have? Okay. Well, I have a colleague uh, just further down here and um, he deals with all that. I usually have my lunch with him. We get to the sandwich parlor and tuck in some sandwiches. He loves those sandwiches. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do now is the same sort of thing again, but I won't be using the light on you. I'm just going to move my finger about. If you just follow my finger, that would be great. Keep following it. Okay. 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 Now I'm just going to look at your left eye. Keep following. slightly and we're going to test your eyes in a slightly darker environment okay so this is the point I usually find that uh, most of my patients here they will start to feel a little bit more sleepy a little bit more relaxed but that's the indicator when the lights go down that's the most relaxed part okay Same little 
thing again if you can just keep looking for to me perfect 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 very responsive and keep looking again keep looking keep looking perfect yep. so no light and I'll be bringing the light just ever so slightly closer to your face so if you can just follow that and watch in your pupils Okay, and now so it turns away, yep. expands, okay, and same again. to disturb you there, but uh, if you fell asleep in a little slumber there, I'm just going to switch our lights back on and we can get you reading the chart. Great. Right, so this is probably most interactive part that uh, we find ourselves in. And very shortly, I'm just going to ask you to start reading letters that we see in the wall. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to come in a little bit closer and going to just check that all your nerves and muscles around your eye feel okay. And that they're responding perfectly, perfectly normal. Okay. You can just try to resist. Like try and close your eyelids there. Keep resisting, resisting, resisting. Perfect. Just come over on the other side. We don't want to neglect it. Now do we? Okay. So just gently, gently. Everything seems to be 
feeling perfectly fine as it should be, which is what I assumed and imagined it probably would. Okay, so thank you for being nice and relaxed. It's almost like a massage, maybe. Okay, so we come to the eye chart session. Uh, so, what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm just going to ask you to read some letters for me on the chart. And if you can just tell me what you see, don't worry if you don't think you're getting the right letter, just tell me what you initially see, and uh, we'll go from there. Perfect. Okay, so, line number one. Okay. And two. Number five, B, C, F, D, brilliant. Okay, number eight. Okay, and if you could just read me the third and fourth letter on number nine. Okay, okay, perfect. Right, so if you can continue looking there for me, if you can tell me line number six, from right to left for me. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Right. And same again, but line number eight. You're to go on to line number 10. If you can read the fifth and sixth letter for me, not line, sorry. Okay. Right. Okay, the tricky one, number 11. So we we'll start from left to right as you go along each letter. It's a little bit tricky, this one. lenses on there and the glasses 
Uh, so if you could just tell me if this is a little bit uh, blurry or perhaps it might be a little bit clear of you. Okay, so we'll just pop them on like that. So, that was that view. Okay. Okay, and how about these? Blurry the last one. Okay. Okay. So if I pop that lens in there. Okay. Right. And pop it in there. Yeah. Okay. lenses on your left I was any of them uh, clear or blurry number four okay right so we'll pop a number four in there okay and about your right eye one two three or four okay number four again okay you that the last lens was actually a clear glass lens and uh, that I added your glasses there and everything we've seen so far has been perfectly fine and normal no cause for concern for absolutely anything um, there's clear glass things just to check that sometimes our brains might just play a little bit trick on us and that we're actually not reading it properly and just to make sure uh, that you didn't feel like you was under any pressure there to check and it turns out that your clear lens you don't need um, any help with your 
vision at the moment and everything about checked to make my hand seems to be perfectly fine as well. So I'm going to write all this down. You're quite comfortable with it. Brilliant. Okay, so let's go right to the and I've got your email here, so I can email you our results today. And would you like me to add you to our subscription list? And this is so I can inform you next year, or perhaps if you would like to do it in two years, uh, if you would like to come back for a check. Usually I would recommend two years uh, when you're younger, perhaps uh, four years between checkups. Um, but two years is a good time just to come in for a general check and to make sure everything is fine. Two years? Okay, let me take that for you. Okay, so that is emailed to you. Our oh, results are there. Everything that you read on the chart, all the letters and lines, uh, seem perfectly fine. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. And of course, that's the main there's some trick ones that kind of look like they'd be a little bit tricky um, with the uh, letters, but this is basically, this is perfectly that normal everything that you said. And like I said, no cause for concern for anything there. So that's been sent on for you. Uh, everything around your eyes, everything seemed perfectly fine. There was nothing which gave me concern about anything, no injuries or anything, had anything wrong in that area. Uh, all your muscle, muscles uh, seem to be working perfectly fine and normal for someone your age. So congratulations. That's your examination complete so thank you so much for checking in with me today it was an absolute pleasure to be able to check your eyes for you and make sure that everything is perfectly up to date and is bright for a person of your age and in fact you are above average for someone your age there is nothing that stands out to me at all nothing that uh, has come to my attention whilst maybe going through your eye examination. So that must be please, dear. Great. So just a uh, bit off topic, but how do you feel right now? A little bit relaxed, of course. Well, I did say it was quite a relaxing uh, examination to have eye tests. Uh, so I hope that this has been a nice experience for you. Anyway, I'm one of the doctors here, and it was a pleasure for me to check your eyes and uh, check on the welfare and well-being of you as well. So I'm sure I'll see you again soon. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Cheerio.